Hey YouTube, this is your boy DJ Cool Thing. It's time for another video here on the DJ Cool Thing YouTube channel. And today, um, I just saw a video from the, from Digital DJ Tips, and it looks like Spotify is going to stop working in the Algorithm DJ app on the Mac, Windows, iOS, Android. So it says Spotify, by far the biggest streaming provider in the world to stop supporting all DJ software as of July, says Algorithm, the maker of DJ, in an announcement today. While the news is not excitingly surprising, the, the bigger picture is that we've seen Tidal, SoundCloud, and Beatport all arrive in DJ software in the past year, but there has been no new developments from Spotify at all. It is definitely a shame because Spotify is the de facto streaming service of choice uh, for so many people. However, it leaves users of DJ, one of two DJ apps that currently feature Spotify, uh, and by far the biggest with an immediate problem, assuming they currently use the Spotify option, of course. One solution of DJ users want to carry using a streaming service is to transfer to Tidal or SoundCloud Go Plus, uh, both of which are supported by DJ. An extra benefit of doing this is these two services are rapidly becoming ubiquitous in DJ software, so arguably they are a safer, bit longer term anyway. Algorithm has today published uh, simple procedures that users can follow to transfer their playlist from Spotify to either Tidal or SoundCloud Go Plus for free using a third-party service called Tune My Music. When I talk you through in the video above, Tune My Music is actually a broader service that allows you to transfer your playlist between all types of online st streaming services. It's a bit like Record Buddy, but for streaming services, the links here, though, are streamlined to make it easy to make those particular switches. And it tells you that you'll need a paid subscription to the new, new service of choice. Your new streaming service may not be available in your territory. Uh, your new streaming service may not have exactly the same tunes available to you, neither of those streaming services are exactly like Spotify. Tune My Music isn't the only transfer service in town. Okay, so it's basically a whole entire article on digital DJ tips saying that they're gonna stop support for the Spotify service and go towards Tidal and SoundCloud Go Plus, which I understand because I'm a Tidal user myself. Since I am a huge Serato DJ Pro user, I have to use Tidal. So I use Tidal within DJ Pro 2. If I want to use it for a secondary app of choice, like if I'm at an outdoor gig and I have access to Wi-Fi outside, and you know I can still use Tidal and have my playlists in there, my up-to-date playlists are all good to go. So there's no need for me to transfer from Spotify to Tidal since everything is in Tidal as of right now. So Tidal and, you know, Tidal and uh, SoundCloud Go Plus are rapidly growing in DJ software like Serato and DJ and um, SoundCloud Go Plus is actually in some other programs as well. Um, it's hard to tell which ones. And Serato here has both of those apps built in. So for Serato users who are using DJ Pro 2 as their secondary app, they'll already have a title subscription if they use Serato on a daily basis, like someone like me. Because I have the Pioneer DDJ SR2, and it works really well, perfectly, 100% native, to Serato DJ Pro, so I got a title subscription for about $9.99 a month, which is not too bad. I do like the sound quality of Tidal compared to Spotify or SoundCloud Go Plus, but I think SoundCloud Go Plus and Tidal are definitely the future 
of streaming services along with, as well as Beatport and um, Deezer, which is actually in Virtual DJ. We don't really know what the uh, future of Virtual DJ is. I think they're still going to keep Tidal and SoundCloud Go Plus and Beatport. And uh, I guess we'll know when that time comes. So, yeah. Spotify is going to stop working in the Algorithm DJ Pro app on the iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac applications and uh, as of July 1st, 2020. So this summer, we are going to be seeing Spotify get removed from DJ software. And Spotify was more of a exclusive streaming service to the DJ Pro app. So it's really sad for a lot of Spotify users who use DJ Pro for DJing. So, yeah, it's just really sad. But here's one thing. Tidal is the only streaming service that allows video mixing with their service. I guess that's one of the reasons why they kind of moved over to Tidal, because you are allowed to stream videos with Tidal, because Tidal has music videos and the regular audio tracks and all those other things you can, you know, stream going forward as a VJ or maybe even a DJ who wants to DJ videos every so often, you can actually do that. So, as of July 1st, 2020, we're going to be seeing Spotify, you know, get removed from the DJ Pro app. I know it's really sad for Spotify users um, who use DJ Pro on a regular basis to use their preferred streaming music service of choice. So, it's just really sad seeing Spotify get removed from DJ. Because um, that's what kind of got me into DJ Pro is Spotify. But um, I get, there's Tidal. Tidal is definitely in more DJ software than Deezer or... Yeah, I think yeah Deezer is in a lot of DJ apps. Just trying to remember. But yeah, Spotify... Is getting removed as of July 1st. It's really sad for a lot of Spotify users, which I'm no longer a Spotify user. I just, I moved over to Tidal when I switched over to DJ, Serato DJ Pro with, with the uh, SR2, the purchase of the SR2 from Pioneer DJ. And I think Tidal is more convenient for me because it works with both Serato and DJ. So it's really convenient for someone like me. So, yeah, it's going to be really sad for, all, for a lot of Spotify users. So, I first heard, yeah, I first heard about that um, when I was watching the Digital DJ Tips video about the removal of Spotify. So, I mean, I think it's about time for DJ to, you know, go forward in video mixing, high quality mixing, yeah, high quality audio, video, yeah, video mixing, high quality audio, and it's also in more DJ software than any other. I mean, Deezer, Tidal, um, Beatport, SoundCloud, they're all ambiguous to DJs when it comes to DJ software and integration. So Spotify is no longer to be supported by DJ, which is, it's kind of a smart move because Tidal has high quality audio. Even if you get the $9.99 a month, you still get 320 kilobits per second at a higher quality. And you also get um, the lossless FLAC files for about <coughs> for about $20 a month, which is insane. So, um, DJ is making a smart move. And this video is from Phil Morse, and he says how to move your DJ playlist from Spotify to Tidal or SoundCloud Go Plus. Spotify, by far the biggest provider in the world to stop supporting all DJ software as of July 2020. It says algorithm the maker of DJ. Wow.
um, one solution if DJ uses um, if DJ users want to carry using a streaming service they'll have to transfer to Tidal or SoundCloud Go Plus both of which are supported by DJ an extra benefit of doing this is that these two services are rapidly becoming ubiquitous in DJ software so arguably they are safer bet longer term Anyway, in this video, Phil explains how to switch from Spotify to Tidal or SoundCloud Plus, so tune in. So July 2020. Wow. So, yeah, it's just sad for a lot of Spotify users who use DJ because of Spotify. And I actually do remember using Spotify at the Kids Camp Family Night this past summer. And now, summer 2020, Tidal might become my main and only streaming service of choice. So I'll have to download the Tidal app to my iPhone since, you know, I already be using Tidal. Using, you know, Serato and DJ. So since I'm usually a Serato user, I use Tidal. And Serato has both SoundCloud Go Plus and also Tidal. So as far as Spotify, nope, as of July 2020. So let's see how many more months Spotify is going to be on DJ. It's going to be on DJ for, let's see, today is March. So it's March, April, May, June, July. So about four more months left with Spotify then it's going to be removed in favor of Tidal and SoundCloud Go Plus, just like Serato. So I just wanted to let you guys know that for sure. So it's going to be really, really awesome. I cannot wait to see what lies ahead for DJ Pro 2 by algorithm. So with that said, I just wanted to give this video out to you guys because I did hear that Spotify is coming to an end as far as DJs are concerned, but it's still available for uh, people who aren't DJs and use for personal use on the iPhone, on the Mac. And there's no progression in the way Spotify needs to be used for DJs. So they're doing the safer bet and going with Tidal and SoundCloud, SoundCloud Go Plus. So it's going to be really, really awesome. I can't wait for all this to take place on July 1st, 2020. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss all the videos that are coming out in the near future. Like future DJ gig logs, unboxings, prop reviews, um, DJ discussions like this one. And I will catch you guys very, very soon. Until next time, DJ Cool Thing out.